Hello and welcome to a Strakan tutorial video. In this video I will explain and show some basic uses of key commands and the pointer command. We can find the list of both commands by selecting the question mark and the help window. Key commands are the shortcuts that we can take to make our work more effective. For example, if you are used to AutoCAD or any similar CAD environment, you will find the functions Automatic Point Identification or Switch On Off 90 Degrees Angle very useful. Let us draw a 2D line to demonstrate this. I can now select the Move Individual function and you can see that the line can be moved freely. If I press Shift plus R, the line can now only move in two perpendicular directions. If we draw another line, we see that the starting point automatically snaps to the first line. I can deactivate this by pressing Shift plus A key command. The settings for automatic picking of points can be found in the settings toolbar. A full list of key commands is found in the help menu that we opened earlier. Furthermore, we can also look at the cube key command. This part of the help menu is currently only available in German, but we can find the international version of key commands by selecting the manuals options and opening the PDF cube key commands. key command for each cube function can be seen by hovering over the command with the mouse. By pressing a specific command, the desired function is automatically selected. For example, I can press V to move the selection, M to measure distance, or N to slope the area. Another useful group of functions is the pointer commands. You can find a list of the commands in the help window as before. They are again used to accelerate our work by drawing a specific symbol using your mouse. For example, drawing the wave symbol over this line activates the move individual function. Drawing a diagonal line from bottom left to top right zooms to the area that you draw the line over. Drawing the C symbol over the line activates the modif modify individually function and drawing the diagonal line from top left to bottom right is the accelerated input method. This type of input takes some time to get used to, but once you master it, you will use it very frequently as it is extremely useful.